Wolf joins me now. Hey, Michael, I'm not sure what's left to ask. You have been absolutely everywhere. Is there anything in the book that you thought would get more attention than it has thus far? Um, well, one of my favorite lines is, is when, um, uh, when Trump calls H.R. McMaster uh, a beer salesman. Um, he says he looks like a beer salesman. Why do I have to talk to him? And I always like that line because um, I, I, I have no idea what a beer salesman actually is. Um, you know, and that's a, there, there, there's a kind of thing with Trump that, that, that it is as though he is from another generation, two generations ago, three generations ago. There is something peculiarly trapped in time about him. And I think this is part of the, 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 um, um, the immigration debate that's been going on since, um, since, since yesterday. I mean, he really does, and, and, and in many situations, I, I, I have found him talking about, you know, why aren't, uh, why, why do we limit immigration from, from Europe? Why do we have these, these other people? Um, he's, he says things like, um, like, isn't anyone an American anymore? It's that kind of thing. So an odd thing is that Trump, in the end, is, is kind of like your old grandfather. I've tried to keep abreast of the many interviews that you've given in connection with the book release. Something that you said to Savannah Guthrie piqued my curiosity. Roll the tape. Your former editor at Vanity Fair, Graydon Carter, said he wasn't surprised you'd written this explosive book. He was surprised they let you in the door at the White House. <laughs> Are you surprised? I, you know, um, uh, uh, no, I'm a nice guy. I go in. <laughs> Did and, you flatter um, your way in? I certainly said what was ever necessary to get the story. Michael Wolf, what did that mean? I said whatever was necessary to get the story. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. It's, 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 um, I, I, I went in and I was, I, I did not say, um, I, I, you know, you're, I hate you and I'm opposed to you and, um, and good riddance to you, um, as much of the media has basically said. Um, I went in and said actually what was, what, what I believed, which was, um, uh, show me what you're doing. Uh, tell me what you want to do. Um, let's, let's see how this, how this works. Let's see if this can work. So I think that uh, I projected to the White House an amount of, of honest openness, frankly. Honest openness. Did you ever misrepresent your objective or your feelings about the president? N uh, never, uh, never once, never in any way. I went into the White House and I told them, I want to write this book from your point of view. I don't want to be, uh, be someone looking in. I want you to tell me what you think. And that's really what the book is. The book is not my Did impressions of, of this White House or the president. It is the, in the voices of the people in the White House. Did you tell them that your objective was to humanize the president, that nobody was doing that, that you personally liked the president, that you'd be able to change perceptions about the president, that you hope to interview him in a relaxed state? I probably said, yes, that I wanted to humanize the president, which I, um, which I wanted to do. Well, were, were all of those pledges accurate when you made them? Were they all honest? Do any of them embarrass you today? No, not, not in the least. As, as I said, I, it sounds like you have something on your mind here. Um, um, I, I do. I, went, I, well, I do. I, I went into this White House saying, I want to write it from, from your point of view. Tell me, I'm completely open to this. If I could write a book which, in which I found that the president was, contrary to all opinions, a potential success, I would have been delighted to write that book. Is it fair that you presented yourself as sort of the beacon to combat media bias against the president? And that that was the way I, I didn't, you were seeing you know, I, I didn't I didn't much present myself in any way and nor did anyone particularly uh, inquire as to as to um, my point of view or where I was going or what this book was was going to be. To be perfectly honest, nobody was that interested. 
What I'm really after is not so much a policy or position interview with the president, but an opportunity to humanize him. Honestly, I don't think there is anybody out there who is doing this or it seems who cares about doing this. But I think you know that I like him and I believe I can show him in a way that might actually change perceptions of him. Chatted about this yesterday with Bannon who suggested doing something in the residence. I'm open to anything but the more relaxed the better. I mean, I asked the question because it sounds like you're presenting yourself as an individual who has his best interest at heart, likes him, wants to show a more humanizing side of him, and for that reason, you should be given access. It becomes relevant because many of us who've read the book, and I read the book, are trying to understand where the White House denies it, well, what's true and what's not true, and therefore, your level of veracity in walking in the door becomes significant. I, I, and I'm, I'm missing. And so what are you implying here? I mean, uh, that's the way well, that's, you, you, that you, is exactly you, you no, 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 no. that's exactly what I had in mind to do. It was uh, open your kimono. Let me see. I'm willing to write us. I'm, I'm willing to write any story here. Give me the story. I wrote the story that I got. I mean, I wrote what I saw, what I heard. How much access did you have to the president? Were there any I, interviews I have at all said, for I, the I book? Have, I have said um, from the beginning, I have spent about three hours in one-on-one -on -one conversations with the president during the campaign, the transition, and in the White House. Okay, because from the paper trail that I've seen, and I've, I've tried to become more knowledgeable in anticipation of, of having you here, it doesn't seem like there was any interview you were afforded for the book per se. I, you know, I think Hollywood we should, I think we should, I, okay, I think that we should point out that you, um, someone in the White House is obviously giving you emails that I sent, which is perfectly fine. But, you know, the White House has been on a concerted attack on me since this book came out. Uh, by the way, a totally incompetent attack, which so far has found a few typos and turned this book into the best-selling book in the world. But you are now doing the job of the White House, um, just so everybody knows that. Well, wait a minute. I read the book. I, I took the time to read the book. There yeah, it is. Yeah, I know, I'm but you have, no, book, let's go. I, I, you have, have somebody, I have questions. So hope, I have, hope I have questions. I, I know this. I have but questions let's, let's as go. a reader. Hope Hicks I have questions as a reader. In the White and House they are this. is Let, giving me, you go ahead. emails that I wrote. So therefore, this is, you're doing the work of the White House to discredit this book. The White House wants to discredit this, this book. They seem now to Michael. Thing, thing he says, so, so you're, the Michael, implication I think, is he I think was the questions, polite. I've raised, I've raised two subjects thus far. I have more, but I've raised two subjects thus you, far that I you, think are legitimate areas of inquiry. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, I don't know what they, you'll, what, you'll get what to are they, what, what the subjects, first is, tell The me. first is, did you misrepresent yourself in an effort to gain access? And the, the email trail that I have seen thus far, I think, raises that as a legitimate question. Hey, and, and I like I Donald Trump. I, hey, uh, I want to humanize Donald Trump. I'm the guy who can change perceptions. I'm the guy who can combat the liberal negative uh, media bias about him. Seems like the way in which you represented yourself to get in the door. I think that's would a legitimate you, would area you let of inquiry. Me, and the uh, second, I can, you'll let's, finish. Let's, I promise. Let's, let's I promise itemize. you'll finish. Let's, let's itemize this. And I the do, second area I of do, inquiry. I have liked Donald Donald Trump. I was interested in humanizing him. Um, I was, I, I do set out to change perceptions, um, which actually I might have succeeded at. Um, but yes, go on. In other words, when you said I might be able to change perceptions of him, you meant, you meant to the negative? <laughs> I mean, I, this is what a writer does. It would be of no value if I went into this and I did not change perceptions, I might, I was perfectly I don't see, willing. I don't know. I, don't, I was perfectly a, willing a, to change you're perceptions a far more, in you're a, a far positive more successful. Way. You're a far more successful writer than I will ever be. I know that when I write emails seeking interviews, my word choice is to say, I will treat the individual with dignity and respect. I never go so far as to say, let me humanize, you know I like the person, I'm the one who can change the perceptions. I just found it unusual. You get the final word. I, I, 
this is um, uh, read my book. That's all I have. That is my final word. Okay, and I did, and I just think it begs interesting questions as to on what grounds were you able to pull up that sofa I th I thought, in the I West thought Wing? You were, I thought you were just giving me the final word. Okay, anyway, so now, let I me mean take, it. now you let get the me final word. The final Go ahead. Word. It's just the book. Go I've ahead. written the book. You either like it or you don't like it. So far, it quite seems that many, 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 many people do like it, and it speaks to them. Final Michael, word. Thank wait, you very much. Michael. Goodbye. Wait a minute. I read it. I what? read Where's it and I enjoyed word? reading it. Where is my I final word? I read it word? and I enjoyed reading it. Here's my point. You can do both. You can both enjoy reading the book and question some of the content. That's my point. And I uh, thank you. Yes, please. Uh, and so you got the final word. Okay. What are your thoughts? Tweet me at Smirconish or go to my Facebook page. I will read some responses throughout the course of the program. What do we have, Catherine? Smirconish, do you think Trump did this to stop the coverage of the book Fire and Fury? Lane, let me tell you something. Uh, I don't think he's seeking to stop the coverage of the book. I, I think that the only thing